In this video, I'll be ranking my top 10 favorite covers of the song Kickback, which is of course the opening for the anime Chainsaw Man. I had a few covers in mind that I like, but I asked my YouTube community to tell me which ones were their favorites. After a hefty dose of watching video after video after video, I was able to pick my top 10 favorites. Remember, my list is gonna be different than yours, and that's okay. All right, let's get into it. First up in position number 10 is a guitar cover by Yuan. I'm sorry to stop so soon, but starting the chance on the guitar is the best part, man. I loved it. it was the first time I heard that, I was like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> mm. Those articulations are so nice and crisp, man. Great job. <laughs> the the descending harmonics and then the sonic on the top. <laughs> Yeah, man, I feel like they captured the element of the uh, the short opening, the show version, really well. In position number nine is Ty Coco with her vocal cover. That's a very different key. It's a very interesting sound there, what's mixed in. The mixing is really good. There's some posts on those harmonies. It's not nice. Yeah, where her voice lies, like that mid range. I really like that. Number eight is a Makima cosplay, and it's going to be a violin cover by Kathy Violin. Right away, I was like, oh man, the vibrato sounds so good. You know, this good technique, good musician. This is amazing. I also love the pizzicato, uh, the harmony, or I guess the, the second track there that she's recorded. This is cool. I'm just going to go back about five and get this again. Yeah, the harmony layer she had, it's really nice. Mm. Oh, hold on. Let me get that. Let me get that run again. Yeah, those octaves, great intonation. We're going back 10. I need the octaves a second time. That was amazing. that lick that came out of there that was cool i think that really good when you have someone such a good musician obviously classically trained i was just kind of staring at the left hand and bow hand all looks so good i'm not surprised how high quality that was so that was a really fun one 
In position seven, a bass cover by Mina. That's what I love in a cover. You're, you're playing the groove. You're playing the original part, but you also add some stuff that makes it you. I'm, I'm sorry. I got to go back. I'm going to go back to the beginning because I want all that again because I got so much personality on those little pulls and the slap stuff. And then I like little blues look there. That was that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to need to steal some of those licks. Oh, yeah, dude. Man, if you take a look at just playing so well between these two pickups, and there's just so much good um, technique going down on our um, our pops and our slapping pops here, and then there's almost like a swoop thing happening, and then I just feel her dig right in. <laughs> I need that again, obviously. Back five. There you go. That's one of those that you could watch multiple times. I feel like you could camp out, watch the right hand play, watch all the articulations, and then watch the left hand and see how the differences are and all those different sounds that we get that are achieved there that she gets. That uh, very, very, very good bass play and super fun to watch. Makes it look effortless, which it's not, obviously. You know when it looks so smooth, you think, oh, that's easy. It's not. In position six is a drum set cover from the YouTube channel, Dragson. The first half of the song was note perfect. It was awesome. It was just right with the track, but the backside is where the ideas evolve here and it's it's musically very nice that's flash man There's some beefy stuff in there. I personally, I really love the fill up the toms to match the track exactly. And then we had a lot of like exploratory cymbal stuff. I'm going to go back 15 seconds and let this go out here. But man, loving the plane. And if you notice, the fulcrum is so relaxed. Look like French grip on the on the sticks here. The thumbs are off. The fulcrum's kind of open, but the back fingers are so involved. But you can play those 16th notes so relaxed. It's uh, The hi-hat stuff sounds amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, you know we're going back for that. Ah, oh god, that was jamming. Back 15, let's go. Uh, it's so good. Go give that guy, go subscribe to that channel. That is amazing. In position number five is a guitar cover from the YouTube channel Chalky P.
I love the slot bass on the guitar. Ooh. All those, man, those were like super. We had ultra crisp before. This is like crisp on the next level. That is really fun to listen to. Oh my god, I'm sorry, but those harmonics into the whammy bend and the other layering there, we're going back to get that. That's 10 seconds. That was wonderful. Oh yeah. That bend was so nice. <laughs> really great job of matching everything perfectly, but adding flair that needs to be there, you know, to make it so personalized. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I love this. Yeah, that was a nice little addition there. I definitely enjoyed that quite a bit. Oh, wow. Just give him the gig right now. Give him the gig. Perfect playing. Perfect playing. That was super fun to listen to. Wow. Great job. In position four is a piano cover by Animens. Try on the piano at home, folks. Go boom! It's not like the bum cluster, but it's it's the fist cluster. Uh, I gotta say that middle section, the bridge, the bridge section that gets so chaotic on, on the actual track. I love hearing it on a uh, concert piano. Also, this person's playing with such beautiful technique. Obviously, super trained. So, uh, as soon as I saw their hands playing, I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be amazing." I just, I wow. Descending baseline on the left hand. It's just so jam. I mean, it's in the real song, but it's it's just fun to see someone take all of that and just put it into two hands. And you're having so much piano. So difficult. You got your your roll is so ridiculous. How much stuff you got to do? Back 15 here. Get that again. Mm. 
what a way to just nail it. That was outstanding. So good. In position number three is a Chilean musician named Tricker who does covers of anime, but in Spanish. But for this one, the arrangement is a salsa band. And I got man, the arrangement is hot. It's real good. Love this. Tenemos lo de suerte, sigue así hasta que acabe. Un más allá solo para quien obra bien no me recibirá. Te amo, burlarme, robarme. It's a salsa hit, man. It works so well. That was hard uh, to not put that at number one, just because it, in reality it would encompass a, it was, be a whole band. But man, that that is hot. If I go to the salsa club, I want to hear I want to hear Chainsaw Man of the Salsa Club. That that was real nice. And in second place, the man that needs no introduction whatsoever on the internet, Davey Five Hundred Four and his bass cover. Uh, yeah, that Phil. About that. Oh my god. It's like we're getting two bass tones in this. I love it when he pulls back so far of those pickups way up there, way up in the stratosphere. The uh, the bass just sounds so different. I love, <laughs> I love how his hands are so big. He has like he's like gifted for guitar hands. The neck looks so tiny. It's just hilarious to watch him play. Very clever with the little additions. Oh, yeah. before we go on to the next part you know we talked about adding stuff making it yours like he's very note perfect in the beginning the groove's the same the approach we we have a couple little things it's very davy-ish but then we get into this he lays on that that really nice groove and then he harmonizes on the same groove that that's like taking that's how you play a cover you take ownership of it but still pay the respect that needs to be there i just i love it going back five
I like a lot our little uh, Bossa Nova section there. Just a lot of just really great Davy things here. And of course, uh, it's, is it coming? Yeah, there it is. Bring it. There it is. <laughs> so much humor, man. Cool. Uh, that was a great cover. Outstanding. And in first place is a guitar cover that, in my opinion, is so much more difficult than everything else. Put it this way. The musicianship represented in this video is just... It's up here. It is out of this world. This is Kenshi Yonazu's Kickback as performed by Sunga Jun. There's so much happening. We have rhythm. We have harmony. We have melody. The chord voicings, the chord melodies that are going on here, they're very complicated. The amount of stretching that's happening. This guitar, by the way, I feel like this is so much more difficult to play on than an electric or an like a nylon string acoustic guitar, classical guitar. Uh, also, there's a percussion element. We have like a lot of like drumming stuff happening. I feel like there's a full band represented right here in this. And it's just, I don't know. It's just out of this world difficult. And it kind of makes my brain melt when I watch it. Let's keep going though. That's so complicated to play those chord melodies to cover all those parts and be drumming at the same time. This is, I don't know, I just, I know I just said it, but you can't not say it. This is just, it's next level. descending part there. Oh my gosh. That was, uh, hold on. We're going back 10 seconds. Buddy, da, da. That stretch there with the pinky and still keeping that chord uh, shape, but otherwise or harmonically, we're still moving there. Cool. What do you even, I mean, 
we could have we could have stopped every four bars to talk about how impressive it was, but that would just ruin it, obviously. Um, and well, that's my number one. I definitely want to know what your number one is. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me on live so we can talk about your favorite anime music. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below, as well as the Discord server if you'd like to support me. My Patreon information is down there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. All right. Take it easy. Thanks again. Bye-bye.